Of course, you always have some good news to, to give out, but naturally there's uh, some disappointing news as well, and it, it's difficult. There was a, a good number that, that you had to give that uh, bad news to that, let, let you, that you let go. Um, lads that you've known for a long time, lads that you've given every opportunity to, how have you... How, how was that this time and, um, and, and, and just tell us a bit about those lads and, and what, what the future looks like? Yeah, it, as I said before, it's, it's the most difficult part of the job. You know, I've, I've been on the other side of the table myself. I, I know how it feels and, and giving that news is, is difficult. Uh, as you say, there's, there's relationships with players that go back many years. Uh, personally, there's players there who I signed in my previous role as, as under nine coach. So it goes back a long way. So it was, there's no easy way to tell the players. We did it, uh, myself, uh, David Vaughan, Sam Pettit, you know, the youth team guys, we, we did it as a group. We did it face to face, which we felt was right. But, you know, it, it's, it's a very challenging day. We did it all in a day, which was emotional. You know, it was, it was, it was a challenging uh, day, but the boys go with our best wishes. The message we give them is go out and prove us wrong. And we mean that uh, because some of the boys were, were, were close in all honesty, it, you know, it, it was, it was difficult, so uh, we, we generally wish the boys, and we, we are trying to help the boys moving forward. It's not a case of now they've left, that, that's it. We're looking at trying to help with the next steps, whether that's arranging trials or one or two boys have aspirations to, to, to move abroad, uh, which is great. So we'll continue to, to monitor the boys. Of course, football keeps moving and um, you're just preparing to welcome the, the next crop of first year scholars. How many are you taking? And and, and you're looking for decent numbers now at the moment, aren't you? Because um, of the, the the challenges of having the under 18, under 21s fixtures to fulfil as well. That's right. We we used to sort of operate with a group of 18 to 20 scholars. We find now that that number perhaps needed to be bolstered with, as you say, with the 21s group. We don't have a standalone under 21 squad, so we we're probably going to take 12 each year to to make a group of 24. So. Uh, the second years will push up towards the 21s, so that, that's sort of the, the, the pattern moving forward. The first years will traditionally play the under-18s fixtures, with, as I say, the, the second years playing the 21s. But we feel we've got an exciting group. We've, uh, we've got 12 coming through. Uh, it'll, it'll be starting on July the 1st, and within that group we've got a lovely balance of different types of players, and we'll be uh, excited to see how they progress. And as I said before, it's a, it's a quiet time here at Reeds Heath. You know, the players are often enjoying some uh, well-earned uh, rest and recuperation, but it doesn't stop for you in, in any regard. But also off the pitch, there's, there's lots of work going on, isn't there, to, to develop in, in terms of facilities and to, to improve things for, for when they return. Definitely, yeah. Uh, as I say, the boys will return, as with, with everybody, on July the 1st. So the month of June is, is, a, is a time for a little bit of reflection with what's gone on uh, past season and what we need to do better for the forthcoming season. But as you say, there's, there's things happening off the pitch, there's, there's investment in the pitching, the pitches, the playing surfaces, uh, there's new office space, there's, there's painting going on as you've seen today, there's lots of activity so I think it's a good time to, to try and freshen uh, the training ground up which is what we're trying to do uh, and improve and, and expand because we, we are expanding as an academy, we're trying to produce more players which in turn need, needs more staff and in turn needs more, more building space. So uh, that's something we're looking to address this summer. Yeah, so you're looking to evolve all the time in, in every way. Just um, to bring us up to date with um, a, a few aspects that you looked at in, in recent times, uh, recruitment was one that you, you really um, uh, changed and uh, improved and, and, and Ben Dixon was brought in to head that up. What impact have you seen since he came in, in terms of the, the players coming through? Yeah, Ben's come in with a, a real different way of doing things. Uh, he's been in just shy of two years now. and He's created processes that we're, that we're looking to uh, adopt and we have adopted. One thing he has done is uh, he's implemented an emerging talent centre, which is sort of a group below the academy, which I guess rather than boys coming straight in on trial, it's a way of, of sort of assessing the boys before that happens. On the flip side of that as well, I think it's important that the boys who perhaps don't shine in their trial period, which sometimes is only six weeks, it gives them an, an opportunity to stay within the, the, the football club so we can continue to monitor because uh, some boys have bounced between the main group and the emerging talent. And I think it's a really good way of doing things and it's something we're, we're looking to expand. 
Uh, and, and of course, you know, the staff is something that you, you work very hard on, that they evolve and improve, but they're also, you know, they, they sometimes catch the, the eye of other clubs and um, that, that creates movement, creates uh, sort of problems for you, but also opportunities for other, other, other coaches. Matt Freeman was, was um, made head of coaching in the last few months. How's he adapting and, and what, he, what is he bringing to the role? Yeah, Matt, Matt knows the club inside out. What, what he is, is, he's a bundle of fresh air. He's got loads of enthusiasm and ideas. He's 100 miles an hour at times, which is good. Uh, so Matt's come in and again, he's, he's looking at different processes and different way of doing things. But Matt, Matt is just, uh, he's a guy who brings enthusiasm and life to the, to the building and he's great on the, on the, out on the grass. And of course, the, the practices and the way you go about your business, um, you know, there's fundamentals that will always exist at Crew Alex in the way that you want the players to play and to learn and develop. But also, you, you want to keep looking at other things. And I know uh, recently you've decided that you want the, the young players to experience more competition earlier and, and also possibly even overseas at times. Just tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that's something I've talked about before. We, we, I think the element of competition is important. We want to add a different flavour to the traditional games program which is all about development and quite rightly but we want we want our boys to experience the highs of winning and the lows of losing so when they get hopefully into the first team they've got experience of, of what it means to win and what it takes to win so we've uh, pre-covid we had lots of opportunities to go abroad that hasn't happened since then but this forthcoming season we're looking to uh, to get back to to getting out there and we are as we speak now the, the, the coaches have been tasked with Finding tournaments and finding opportunities that we can that we can explore further afield. So that's something that we're looking forward to the, for this season. And as you always say, you know, you, you've got a lot of work that goes on with you know really young kids, and it takes a long time. But your your job is to get is to oversee the operation that gets players through to the first team. You did that again last season. We saw lots of exciting young talent coming through. There's more knocking on the door as well, and, and that just worked. Just continues for you, doesn't it? It does, and you know the the challenge never changes. We we've got to try and keep producing uh, players for our first team. We want to give the manager a headache with uh, the amount of players coming through, and that that's something that is uh, is no secret. It's something we continue to try and do. All the staff understand that, and uh, it's something that that excites us. And the the challenge ahead is something we're looking forward to.